This is the country of Switzerland. And this is a Sudoku by Florian Wortman called Switzerland. And I will show you how to solve this puzzle by placing marks in grid. I'll explain all my expert Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I do it. Click on the link below if you want to try the puzzle yourself. With that, it's solving time. Hopefully you see this puzzle looks a little bit like that map I just showed you. Florian is from Switzerland. And August 1st was a national day to celebrate uh, Switzerland. And he made this puzzle very cool. So I wanted to show it here. I think it would be a fun one to solve. All right, so there's a one, there's a one. Also, I'll put some details below, but these numbers in the middle of the grid actually have significance with postal codes in Switzerland. Very cool. I'll put all that in the in the description. All right, so normal classic Sudoku rules apply. So this one comes down, this cuts across, means that uh, only one spot for a one right here, which means these two spots have got to be a one. And you come up here, actually I can solve down there because I have only one spot for a one right here. It means this has to be a one. And we have solved all the ones. All right, uh, twos, I only see one, two here. I don't think I can do much. I do see quite a bit of three. So let's go over here and solve this for three. And we'll solve for three here because of these threes. And we call them seven and nine. Um, two spots for three there. And two spots for a three in block seven. And if we look up, three spots for three, not going to make that mark. Three spots for three in block two, not going to make that mark. Let's move on, and I'm going to look at other numbers. Fours, three spots for four there, but I do have a pointing pair of fours. So you see the fours come across row two and up column nine. That means that four is limited to row one here in block nine. So the four can't be anywhere else along uh, row one. And so four has to be one of these two spots. And this is called Snyder notation. If you're not familiar, uh, whenever a candidate's limited to only two spots in a three by three grid, you mark it. So if we're able to solve one of those spots, and then go ahead and quickly solve the other for that number. And it helps with some advanced solving. Anything else I can do? I'm looking now. Uh, so see how the 5 comes up here and the 8 comes down? So the 8s are a pointing pair here, which means the 8s are limited to these two spots in block 9. The 5s are limited to these three spots. Since there's three spots and not two, I'm not going to make that mark. But the thing to keep in mind, too, is that the fives will actually be limited to these three spots up here in block three. So I just kind of keep that in my mental uh, memory. Two spots for a six right here. Anything else I can do with the sixes? No. Sevens. Uh, I'm still kind of filtering through here. And there's, there's a lot of play, it seems like. And then the uh, eights. Okay, I'm going to do two spots for a seven right there. Uh, looking at the eight, and two spots for an eight there. Uh, two spots for an eight here, which is another pointing pair. This is kind of nice, because now we're going to be able to make a solve out of it. The eight are limited to in block eight to just column five. And since we have an eight here in row three, this has to be an eight. Okay, nice. And then this we can solve this for an eight. That's the only eight left in block one. Uh, gives us two spots for an eight right here. And then the only ones I haven't done anything with yet is the nines. You know, two spots for a nine there, three spots for a nine here. So you look like a five has to be here, a nine has to be there. Anything else has to be limited to that spot. I don't, I don't think I can get that granular with it yet. All right. Uh, so moving on, made a lot of good marks here. I want to see if there's anything else I can do. So how this four comes down. Two spots for four right there. Uh, since we filled this part in, so actually I can solve that for a four. Nice. Great. And so when you make the marks and then you fill in a couple of digits, always go back and see uh, the effect that has. Maybe it creates some more Snyder notation or some more solving opportunities. So now I'm going to look for where restricted parts of this. So I see like there's some restrictions right here along row seven because there's at least five cans spelled and then in column four. So I'm kind of like my first focus would be right here uh, because there seems to be a lot of digits filtered into this little spot. So it can't be one. It could be a two, it can't be a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this has to be a two. That's a naked single. Hopefully you see that. Pretty cool that I was able to find that. Uh, and the reason I did is because it had most of the candidates filled out in the row and column. 
So two spots for two right there. Uh, anything else for the two? Nope, but now what's the three remaining spots here? It looks like a three, four, and a six. So there's a three and a four. That makes that six. And, and then I will mark these as a naked pair for the three, four. Six, six, here's a six right there. So we'll mark that, those sixes right there. Nice. Okay, and then the six and the six coming across means we can actually solve a six right here. Uh, which means we can solve this for a 6 because of the 6 come across for 5 and that's 9. Uh, now this creates a naked triple. And so what's this naked triple? It's going to be 2, 5, and 8. So there's an 8 right there. Um, and I will mark that because the naked triple is, is handy to us because now, you know, these three spots can't be 2, 5, or 8. So that means it's whatever's left in here, which looks like a 4 and a 7. And the first thing you notice is we can now solve this 2 over here and this 8. And so we'll put the 4, 7 as a naked pair. Great. And then we have this full house coming up here. So what's left uh, is a 2. And then you have another naked triple right here, right? And so that's a 5, 7, 9. Uh, not enough to solve yet, but we will get rid of this. So, so naked triples, uh, naked pairs, very helpful in solving. Um, and it helps set you up and see where some of the advanced strategies might be. So 579 on the rest of this row 2. I mean, there's a 7 there. So I will mark this 59. And I'll put 579 just because it's kind of a naked triple across the row. Uh, some people probably wouldn't, wouldn't mark that, but I think there's some value there. Okay. Now, where else do I see query resources? Uh, still looking here at row, or excuse me, column 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We need a 5, 6, 7. So the 7 can be there, can be there. This has to be your 7, right? Hopefully you see those two 7s, which means it bumps a 6 right there and it bumps a 5 right there. Which makes this a 9. And we have 5, 7 pair. Nice. Okay, 6 and 6, 7, 7. Uh, now we can solve this part for a 7. And two spots for seven here. We'll make that mark. Great. All right. So we made a lot of progress in the puzzle. I haven't done too many uh, fairly advanced strategies yet. Uh, so this nine cutting across, one of nine of these two spots here. And then the seven actually now is limited to just this spot. So that's a seven and that's a nine. Nice. And so now we got a five here and a seven there. And we got a 9 right there. So all that's kind of disambiguating itself. Looks like we have a 2, 3 right here. We'll make that mark. And then what we have left over here looks like 4 and 6. But you have a 6 right there. So there's 6, there's 4. Great. All right, 6, 6. This can't be a 6. So that's got to be a 6. And then um, I believe we got all the 6s. Yeah, so let's look at the 4s. Uh, anything helpful with the 4s by making that mark. Not really. Can't really do anything with that. Let's look at this naked triple across here. We're looking for a 2, 3, 5. Uh, not enough to solve, but I'll mark the mark. 2, 3, 5. That's not a 3, and that's not a 2. Okay. And then I want to look and go, okay, where's my next area of greatest restriction? And I can look across row 4 if I think there's something there. Um, or I can look across, looks like, row 8. Has at least five spots filled in, or I can just come down here, uh, column two. So let's go to row four first. You know, most of the restrictions are in this area. So we got a one, three, six, seven, eight. So we've got two, four, uh, two, four, five, nine. Okay, so two, four, five, nine, nine. Hmm. Yeah, it's not not much to that. I mean, I'll mark it, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Two, four, five, nine. Get rid of the 9 there. Uh, the only thing it's telling me is since this can't be a 9, that can't be a 9, the 9s are limited to these two spots right there. Uh, so now we can actually solve this for a 9. So there is some benefit of that, uh, of seeing that. Okay. And then this can't be a 2, uh, 2, 4, 5, 9. Okay, cool. All right. And by solving that, so now we got a 2, 4, 5 angle here. This is, looks like a 2, 5. And then this would be. Uh, two, 
four, five. And the thing to keep in mind now is that these fours are pointing pair. The fours are limited to column five here and block five. So that means these can't be a four. You know, the fours are in those two spots. So we can't keep in mind that this no longer can be a four right in that area. Okay. Great. All right. What else do we have? Uh, it looks like two, three, four, five down here. So there's a two, three, and I can do a four, five. That's interesting. Two, three, two, five, three, four, four, five. Uh, I feel like there's something going on, or we're going to be able to create something out of that. So I'm going to keep my eye on that. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, let's look across here. Two, five, eight. So get that two. So that's a five, eight. All right, and then across here it looks for uh, also two, four, five, eight. So that's four, five, eight. Okay, and then this would be can't be an eight, can't be a four. So this would be a two and a five, right? Okay, so what do we have for? Let's see here. I feel like there's something here that may not be seeing right away. Two, five, two, five. Two, three, five, four, five, eight, five, eight. Um, curious here. Okay. Uh, let's move down here to row eight. Maybe there's something there. What do we have here? Two. We got one, two, six, eight, nine. So we're missing uh, three, five. Three, four, five, seven. So it can be right here. It can't be at four. Three, five, and it can't be at seven because that seven's right there. Three, four, five, seven. So it could be a three, five, seven here. And then right here, I see a three and seven. So this we got to be a four and five. Okay. Here we go. We got something here. Finally, we have ourselves an X Y wing. All right, and I'll do that. All right, X, Y wing, right? So three different candidates. You have a pivot, which sees two, two pinchers. They're all by value cells. And it's a 3, 4, a 3, 5, and a 4, 5. So there's a two, you know, three values, but in all three different combinations. So basically, if this is a 4, that's a 3. If this is a 5, that's a 3. So any cell that sees these two purple cannot contain a 3. So you can eliminate a 3 from right here. More importantly, you can eliminate a 3 from right there. And now I'll get rid of all these colors, and which means that has to be a 4, and this is going to be a 3, right? Because we eliminated that 3, so we got the 4, we got the 3, nice. That has to be some intended logic. I love seeing that. Okay, so now we've got the 3 there. It's going to make that a 5, it's going to make that a 2, it's going to make that a 3. I think we found. Um, yep, you know, the logic that's going to get us right through this puzzle. Very cool, very cool. I like how you put that in there, Florian. Uh, real nice, real nice. And so, since that's an 8 there, this has to be your 8. You can get rid of the 8 right there. You got a 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 4, 5. And now, look at here, we've got to solve that for a 4. So that's your 5, that's your 2, that's your 3, that's your 2. Get rid of these 2s. And. We got two, four, five, that has to be a three now, and this would be your eight. Sweet. Okay, eight, eight, eight. Uh, four, five, seven across there. We get rid of this three, get rid of that mark. Um, two, five, seven. So I see a two and a five, so this has to be your seven, which means that's four, that's seven. And I'll help clear this up. So now we got a five, and we got four right there, and we got a nine. There in the corner, and so two, four, nine. That has to be eight. Actually, solve that for a five. This has got to be your two, and now it can't be. Um, so the only spot left for your nine, which means this has to be your four. That's your five. That's your four. That's your two, and we just solved it. So check out these other solving videos from my channel that include uh, this puzzle from Flory Wortman. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much, Florian, for letting me feature these puzzles. You're an awesome setter and very excited uh, that you did something for your home country there. Thank you so much for watching.